uh, a most beautiful morning here in the mother city and I hope that it's beautiful as you know wherever you are in the country but check this out the Kruger National Park we all know that place right the, where the animals are just enjoying themselves now uh, apparently sometimes the animals at the Kruger National Park like to enjoy themselves a little bit too much a few elephants enjoyed some marula fruit with some hysterical consequences take a look at this they say elephants never forget, but we have a feeling one herd might have trouble remembering some things the next morning. Earlier in April, a small herd of elephants were photographed stumbling around SA's Kruger National Park. The pics by field guide Ross Cooper made international headlines last week. It's believed the Bigfoots were intoxicated from eating an immense amount of marula fruit. Surrounded by African myth, the marula fruit falls to the ground at this time of the year, inviting animals, big and small, to feast. Yeah, no, hey, a bit of elephants getting trunk and disorderly there. <laughs> now, it was uh, field guide Ross Cooper who photographed uh, these, these young elephants, and we are very lucky to have him on the line so he can talk to us about his experience. Ross, thank you so much for joining us uh, on the line. Tell us what was going on in your mind when, when you came upon this scene. Uh, good morning. Um, it was an amusing display. I must say that it was very difficult to interpret to the guests. And uh, we were all sort of stunned and just um, surprised at the elephants' behaviour, at what they were doing. Is this a common thing that happens at the game reserve at a particular time of year? I mean, do you have like special day outs where you say, today we are going to check out some inebriated <laughs> elephants? Um, no, not at all. This is not, not a common behaviour that we'd normally see out in the game drive. Uh, this was a unique sighting that was unusual, and particularly for these large animals that showed signs of being intoxicated after feeding on the marula fruit. Uh, secretively, I think they had the intention of acting out this intoxicated behavior, <laughs> which we all found was very comical. Now, I, I don't know, I'll also say that it is um, all a myth, in fact, but how, how true is it? I mean, do animals really go out there? I mean, and I understand that they say that it's not, it's not just elephants, it's, it's monkeys, uh, any herbivores that really enjoy fruit that go out there, uh, eat the marula fruit and then ferment, and then they get like this. It's, so it's, it's not a myth. This is real, right? Uh, well, it actually, it, it is a myth. Um, you're right. There are a lot, of, a lot of animals out there that do go out and eat the marula fruit. But um, it, you can eat a, a large amount of marula fruit, and that could have an intoxicating effect, um, especially when the fruit is fermented in the hot sun. But this would be unlikely for a wild animal, as the percentage eaten based on the individual body weight would need to be above normal. Yeah. I guess that was the, the big interest in the strange elephant behavior that was captured. We never really know. So you, usually, who, what, what other animals do you have eating the fruit other than elephants? Uh, there'll be a large variety of species, anything from kudu, zebra, impala, warthog, and then of course humans. Um, they also display uh, a behavior resembling um, uh, that of the animals, obviously if they intoxicate themselves too much. <laughs> but uh, marula fruits are sweet and refreshing, so everybody sort of uh, gets into eating them during the summer months. Yeah, now we'll, we'll send uh, some traffic cops along the way there just to have some, <laughs> some sobriety tests done. <laughs> Ross, thank you very much for thank the pictures and thanks for capturing that moment, man. No problem at all, thank you. Cheers, have a lovely Freedom Day. And we are celebrating Freedom Day all across the country. Uh, today it's the official public holiday. Today, of course, yesterday was Freedom Day. And a lot of celebrations were taking place uh, across cities. And uh, art came into play. Art, music, hip-hop, rap and dance were all put together as we took back the city. Take a look.